Chapter 12, The Myth of Big Decisions. People think decisions take years. They don't. People think decisions are huge. They're not. People think decisions are single events, yet they rarely are. A single decision takes a split nanosecond. It's just all the leading up to that decision that takes all the time and energy. It's the noise and the doubts and the fears and the second guessing yourself and the voices and the thought of how others will judge you that cloud or drag out the single split nanosecond decision. All the things in your head that took days, weeks or even years were just preparation for the decision and much of it is unnecessary distraction. A single decision is small. It's a single unique thought, a tiny speck of energy in your brain. And then it's gone, replaced by the next one. It's estimated that an adult makes about 35,000 remotely conscious decisions each day. In contrast, a child makes about 3,000. This number may sound absurd, but in fact, we make 226.7 decisions each day on just food alone, according to researchers at Cornell University. One Sink and Sobel, 2007. And according to Tony Abelwhite of the Puzzler Mind Gym, the average person makes 773,618 decisions in a lifetime, but lives to regret as many as 143,262 of them. You can't make this many big decisions in your life. Your brain would melt out of your eye holes. A single decision isn't really a single decision. What you perceive as a single decision or a big decision is actually a build-up of many small preceding decisions. If you've been in a relationship breakup, you don't go from in love to over in a split nanosecond. There are months or years of smaller questions and decisions that compound towards what you perceive to be a big single decision but all the ones before it already made that decision. Even if you find out, out of the blue, that you've been cheated on, there are still many decisions that come between happy and over. In fact, many people decide to stay in the relationship, but they need to keep remaking that decision daily. Others make the decision only to go back on it months or years later. People put so much weight on single decisions like they are bigger than they really are, that they are the be all and end all of life. It doesn't help you to make smarter, faster and bigger decisions if you give them more weight and size than they really have. Think big, but start small. Success is not a single decision. It's a decision to start now and get perfect later. Once that decision is made, which is quick and easy, only then a series of decisions along the journey are sparked off. Some of those decisions are good ones that build on good ones and others are bad ones that set you back a little. Keep deciding forward. Sometimes you just need to fail forward fast. Diminish the weight of importance of big decisions by chunking down to each small step decision. The eureka moments so often seen in films of that revelatory aha moment of inspiration and genius in the bath or the shower is mostly good storytelling and fodder for media. Most people, even the ones we hold in the highest regard in society, don't have single eureka moments. They make hundreds or thousands of decisions that build into this perceived single breakthrough idea, like the apparent overnight success that took 10 years to build. They often iterate thousands of actions towards an epiphany, like the 10,000 experiments Edison undertook before finally getting his light bulb. Let it be said that there are no big decisions. If you're stuck or overwhelmed, decide your way out of it, small decision by small decision. Start now soundbite. Most big decisions are made up of lots of much smaller decisions. Decisions take split nanoseconds to make, but can take years to prepare for. Reduce the weight and size of decisions by breaking them down, knowing you will make lots of good, small ones, and a few bad, small ones along your journey to success. So start making more small decisions.